how to create images quickly to use when sharing content on Pinterest and there's no image on that page or no content that can be shared to Pinterest and also how to create quotes for your Google Plus events. Hi, my name is Krishna Day. You'll find me online at krishnaday.com and also over on Google Plus. My personal profile is at krishnadayonline.com. If you're using visual content marketing in your organization, and particularly if you're using platforms such as Pinterest, you will be creating and curating content to share there. When you're creating content for your own site, one of the things I'm sure you've started to consider is your workflow. And I know that when I create content now for my sites, I'm always thinking about what size of image do I need to have to accompany this content if I want it to be shared effectively on different platforms, be that Twitter, Facebook, or of course on Pinterest. Sometimes, however, you're curating content. And when you curate content over to Pinterest, it may not always be your own. Or perhaps like myself, when you've been creating content for many, many years, some of those original articles and pieces of content you shared on your website didn't have an image connected to it. Well, of course, you need to make sure that you manage your content effectively and don't breach copyright. But one of the things I sometimes come across are great articles, but there's no image there and I can't easily share it. So I want to share with you today a tool that I've been using. Now, I invested in this tool when it first came out and it's called Share as Image. However, they have recently had an update and I was fortunate, in fact, to enter a competition and I won a prize to get the updated tool. And I have to tell you, it is fantastic. And that's what I'm going to share with you today. Let's look first at an example. Here's an article that I found that was quite interesting and it's created by the Irish Times and it's an A to Z of media matters in 2013. But as you'll see, there is no image associated with the content. So if I go to share that on Pinterest, there'll be nothing to connect it to other than perhaps some ads or visual content that's nothing at all to do with that image. What I was able to create is a little image and I uploaded the image, in fact. Now, ideally for Pinterest, you want to be able to have images that are 750 pixels wide and one and a half times the length. And that gives you the best impact in terms of in the newsfeed on Pinterest. This image was actually a, a much narrower image and also less deep. Unfortunately, the one downside with Sharers Image Pro is that the full width is not 750 pixels wide. And I know that's also a challenge for many websites. But what you'll see here is an image that I've created and it links back to the Irish Times. Let me show you another example. On Pinterest, I share lots of visual content marketing tips and one of my boards is all about Facebook marketing. And there's an application called Static Tab. But again, there's no image on that page that I could share. So what I did is I created this image with Sharers Image Pro, which tells you what Static Tab's about and I therefore just put a little note at the bottom of it saying Facebook marketing tip. But you might think that takes a lot of time to create and I'm going to show you that it's not. Let me give you a final example. At this time of year, we always see articles about RIP blogging and that is not the case. Blogging is not dead. And in fact, if fewer people blog, that's fine by those of us who do. We'll get more potential visitors to our content if we're doing great updates and articles that we're sharing. But what I did in this particular case is the article was called RIP the blog and then I put a little quote about what the, the content's about. Yet another article talking about the demise of the blog as people migrate to many other online media channels. And again, that links back to the original article and that's been shared onto one of my boards. In fact, on social media news and tips over on Pinterest. Let's explore how we can now use share as image. And here's a tool, which is an aspect ratio calculator. If you're using video content on your site, you might want to do this in terms of explore this for the size of images that you're creating and videos that you're curating. And again, there's no image. So if I want to share that to Pinterest, I'm not going to be able to. Now I've got linked in onto my bookmarking tool, share as image. So I'm just going to click that now. 
Sharer's image now allows me to choose a color for an image that I might want to create. So you can see I can just navigate across and find different content here. However, they've also recently introduced the ability to use one of their images. So there's photographs I could choose from. And so let's say, for example, I want to use this one and it's like a little notebook. So I might use that. There's also patterns that they have available. And so here we can just quickly change that pattern. There's equally filters, lots and lots of different filters. So it actually just will change what your image looks like based on those filters. Let me just go back to photographs for one moment. And what you also see up here is the ability for me to upload the image. And so I did that with the example from the Irish Times. Once you've selected whether you want to use your own image or one of the photographs or patterns that are available and the filters that you wish to use, you then get the opportunity to put in a title. There's lots of options of different fonts that you can use. You can change the size. You can see here mine, I've called it visual content marketing tip, and I can change the size of the font there very easily. I can also change the color. I can left or right justify it. I can also bold and indent. I also have the opportunity to put a little bit of information underneath. So in here I've put in the details and I'm sharing this information as I mentioned before about this aspect ratio calculator and I actually have put the details in here and again I can make changes in terms of how I want that content to come out and the color of it. The other thing that you'll notice at the bottom is actually has a little note here saying curated by Krishna Day. So if it's my own content I'll often put my URL of my website there or even a link However, perhaps you want to add in a watermark. Now that could be your logo, but equally it might be just a little tip like that. And I don't have to change it every time. And it allows me here to choose the size of that watermark and I can upload that content. I can turn that watermark on or off. So you can see it's super easy to use. I also like because it's a pro version, there's no um, reference to any other organization there. I know there's some other online image tools that allow you to do similar things to this, but as they're free, obviously, and rightly so, that they promote themselves. So I've actually now created this. I'm going to click Save and Share. If I want to make changes, I can go back to the editor and then it gives me opportunities to share it or in fact a link and in fact even the opportunity to download the image, which I think is really handy. Let's just share it immediately to Pinterest and see what I would do then rather than having to go through the process of saving the image. So share, let's share it to Pinterest. I'm already logged into Pinterest. So now I've just selected the board I want the content to go to. It also populates over with the words. I just need to do a little bit of editing here. Um, of course, you can change that, but it basically picked up the words that I created. And now I can pin it. I'm going to share it onto Pinterest. Now I'm here on Pinterest, you can see at the bottom it says visit share as image and obviously that's going to take people back to that website. So the little extra thing that I would do here if I wasn't uploading the image direct is I'd just go in to edit the image and I can do that with a little pencil here and then what I'll do is I'll just put in the link um, to the original source of the content and then save the changes. And then, of course, if I click on that, it should take me back to the website, which has the calculator on it for aspect ratios. And there we go. We're straight back at that website. So I mentioned before that you could also use this on Google+. Plus. So again, you may want to have an image that you create and use on Google+, Plus to link back to other content because, um, again, visual content works really well. But another way that you could use it is actually in events. And here's an example with Chef uh, Dennis, and he hosts an event called Good Day Google+. Plus. And he had an event on just recently and there were a couple of quotes that he and one of his guests referenced that I thought were really useful. And what I did is I used Shara's image to then create little pieces of content that I published into the event stream as I was watching it. So here's an example. And Chef Dennis actually said, if you're not 
leaving reviews for local businesses in your area, you're missing an opportunity in local search results. So I put his quote there, reference to it was, and then you can see my little watermark comes up at the end. And one of his guests on the show mentioned a really helpful Google Plus tip. If you miss notifications, go to previously read comments to respond to them. And I then put a little reference to who it was. It was David Oldenburg, who hosts a Google Plus show that's definitely worth watching. Again, you'll find him on Google Plus if you want to see those images yourself. And as I shared those images publicly on an event, they also appear on my Google Plus profile. So I hope you found Share as Image a helpful tool. They do have a free version. However, you don't get as many features. And in fact, in the pro version, what's also great is that it saves your past images so you can go back and actually use them to build from again. If you'd like more visual content marketing tips, I'd like to invite you to join me in a series I'm just starting come the 30th of December 2013. Initially, we'll be talking to people who are using Google Hangouts about how that's helping them with their marketing in terms of visual content. But the program will go on to have other guests in it as the year goes on. So come on over to Google+. Plus. You'll find my personal profile at krishnadayonline.com. If you want social business tips, you'll also find my business page there and you can find me there at circlekrishna.com. And of course, you can find my websites from both of those sites rather than giving you lots of other links. Um, I'd really recommend you head over to Google Plus certainly today to find out details about the forthcoming shows. We've got three shows already lined up from December through into January. Lots of other guests have already agreed to, to come on the show. So I hope you'll be able to join me for some more interactive live visual marketing tips. Again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. There's a link in the video to show you how to do that. And so you'll never miss another one of my tips. Thanks for watching and do leave your feedback and comments. And if you've got questions about visual content marketing for your business, let me know. And you never know, I may either bring you onto one of our live shows to ask your questions, or alternatively, I may even feature you in a forthcoming article or online video.